Another topic that we're very interested in here on Healing Quest is the enormous power of the mind to heal the body. Tapping into that power is not easy, but some great work is being done to help all of us do just that. A beach in sunlight, a field in flower, a whole and healthy body. Powerful images that mean something different to all of us. Slices of imagination that have the power to help us heal. I can really feel in my whole body the, how, how healthy that kind of energy is. Dr. Martin Rossman is a pioneer in a therapeutic technique called interactive guided imagery. It's a healing force that he believes lives in each of us. What's so beautiful about it is that people draw on their own experience in their own data bank and they will imagine themselves going to a place that is truly peaceful, beautiful, relaxing as they know it to them. Yeah. Guided imagery is the art of focusing and directing the imagination. In 1989, Dr. Rossman, who trained as a general practitioner, co-founded with Dr. David Bressler the Academy for Guided Imagery in Northern California. Diane Brandon is recovering from a double mastectomy and intensive chemotherapy. Obviously, it's never easy to go in and, and have someone put a needle in your arm and, and pump what is, quite honestly, poison. But it gave me a way to, to frame it in my own experience that um, I, could, I could hang on to when, uh, when things got scary. It gave me an alternative way of thinking and imagining. Diane's healing image? A fireboat. The fireboat, it, you know, it doesn't get tossed around like other little boats. Mm -hmm. It feels wonderful to, mm -hmm. to feel that, that, that power inside of me. The key to interactive guided imagery is to invoke a client's own healing image. Like Diane's fireboat, powerful, vigilant, benign. It's unlike hypnosis, which places the client and their images in the practitioner's control. And it differs from other guided imagery therapies, which often suggest images to the client. If I say, let an image come to mind for how your body will heal from this, and they imagine a little repair crew that comes in and is fixing the disc in their back, or they're imagining a crew of uh, knights on horseback that are chasing away the the bad guys which are the cancer cells or they're imagining being held in the arms of God and they feel perfectly protected and totally healed. The power of it is so much more uh, palpable. It's so real to them. Diane Brandon might never have found Dr. Rossman or her cancer-fighting fireboat if not for an unusual source, her medical insurer. A nurse called and said, we have a program to send people guided imagery tapes and I'm, yours is in the mail and we'd like you to listen to it several times before your surgery. There seems to be evidence that people who do this have a better experience. My surgical experience and the experience right after were amazing. I mean my doctors were just astounded. I had no nausea. I was really calm going into surgery. When I came out, I really had no pain. There's been research about all these things now for years of people who prepare mentally, and it usually involves guided imagery, and prepare in the, in the right way, and it's pretty simple, come through surgery with 50% the complications, with 50% the bleeding, with less pain, they get out of the hospital a day and a half earlier, the procedures go more easily. It's really quite astounding just share how you had these two parts and the way that really Dr. Rossman and his colleagues together. hold four-day seminars to teach interactive start. guided imagery to healthcare professionals well. and laymen. Uh -huh. So far, he says, uh, 10,000 students have been trained. Patients need to participate and they need to be empowered. So we're showing them a skill of how to do that, how to draw from within Christopher Sato Perry is one of those students. He's using interactive guided imagery in the oncology unit at the California Pacific Medical Center in San Francisco. How are you today? 
This patient has been trying to sustain a four-year remission from breast cancer. In her sessions with Sato Perry, her fears took shape as a lurking dragon. Sato Perry helped her reimagine the dragon as a harmless ceramic figure. There were studies in the last 10 years which confirmed that uh, the brain actually, if we're visualizing, will respond in the visual cortex exactly as if we were seeing something with our eyes outwardly. This imagery, which seems so airy-fairy and it seems so ethereal, is actually a very practical tool that we can use in medicine in, in really practical ways to help real living people who are in pain or suffering or battling with illnesses. Fireboat and dragon, beach and meadow, visions that can help us heal.